hello guys and uh, welcome back so let's continue so now here on our method here we have uh, we are checking if it is custom time and here we are doing the methods without uh, if it's an one of these other times so before we go down here up here we need to have another check so after we have set the game time here let's say do and complete let's check now if if uh, this is compute okay if uh, what are we calling it this is compute or is it game provider game provider dot versus compute if it is versus computer all we need to do now is since we are starting the loading here so let's stop the loading say game provider that set uh, set is loading to force the loading has stopped and then now let's just navigate now cut here and then navigate okay so this is uh, when we have seen that if it is versus computer okay and then here now in the else we are going to do something else here so here which means it's uh, versus player so here we do the method search for players okay I hope this is clear first we are checking if the user selected the custom time and then we do this required and then after we save that set the time we check again if is uh, selected versus a computer we just go on ahead and start the game with the time that we have saved if if it is not versus computer we are going to do the methods that we need to do here on the search for players so for now let's leave this like this we'll come back to work on these methods let's go down here to other methods here where it is not custom time okay so not custom time okay so yeah down here what we need to do is uh, first we need to check remember if the time is not custom we may have zero or we may have plus one or we may have plus two these are incremental so we need to check if the users has picked one of the incrementals or if there is no time okay so to do that first we need to let's add some comment check if it's incremental time uh, first let's get this value after the plus sign and see so get the value after the plus sign okay what we're gonna do here is let's it's a string so final string we have uh, incremental or we'll name it as incremental time this will be equal to widget widget dot game time okay we are getting that game time and then we are splitting it so we say game time dot split and then we are going to split at the plus sign there and then we want to get that index at one okay so we are getting this game time and then splitting at this sign and then this is index zero and then this is index one so we are getting the second index which is always this number after the plus okay that's why we are getting that incremental so it can be either be zero or one of these five or two or three okay one of these other incrementals and then the other thing is now let's get the other one before the zero the one at index one 
which is the, our game time so of course let's just copy that and then here we can just say get the value before the plus sign okay then let's paste it here and then this will be our game time which is going to be at index zero okay so we've got the increment and we've got the game time we have separated these two okay now now let's check now here this is when we check if uh, increment is equals to zero so let's do check if increment is equal to zero okay so we're just gonna say if incremental is not equal to zero like that then we know that it's 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 not incremental okay so if incremental is not equal to zero or then we know that we have a number here if it's zero we know that it's stocked incremental so if it is not equal to zero we know that we have a number so now uh, let's save the incremental value save the incremental value okay we need to save it to use it now when we are calculating the time okay we are when we are setting the the time so what we can do is we can create a new method inside our provider so let's go on ahead and go to our game provider up here let's create another integer let's just copy one of these then paste here we are going to say incremental and then it's going to be equal to zero yeah we'll initialize it at, at zero yeah, we're going incremental let's call it incremental value okay and then let's also create a getter we can just copy also this let's get uh, in incremental value which is going to return our incremental value and then down here let's create a method to set our incremental value set incremental value which is going to be a let's make it a future i think a void is fine void set incremental value this is going to require an int which is a value and then we're just going to say incremental value will be equals to value then we notify the changes all right so just like this now we are saving this value inside our provider package okay and then let's go back to our startup game screen and then let's just say game provider dot set incremental value which is going to be our incremental value incremental time So le this is this is an int. This it takes an int and this is a string. So what we need to say here is a uh, int dot pass. Then we can now put this just like that. So here we have saved the incremental value. Let's continue. 
now after we have saved we can also now set start the loading game provider dot uh, set loading to true we can start showing the loading we can we can set the loading to true and then after this uh, what we can do now is to set the game times so we've already created this method up here we can just copy it okay so now instead of these we have our game time which is this game time game time and then here also uh, let's check when it's completed when do we complete we go down here we check if it is versus computer game provider dot versus computer if it's versus computer we know we just go right away to the screen let's just copy this and then in the else it's not versus computer now here we search for players okay i hope i wasn't too fast here so let's continue okay so now before we continue to start making this going online to play versus players we need to finish up with versus computer so now let's we have saved the time and incremental let's now go inside the game screen and start reading the correct time and then also start the timer coming down okay so when we click one of these and then when we go here let's start showing time correctly here and then when we play the move let's start time show time to start counting down until we see when the game is over and all those things okay so that's the next thing we're going to do